This video is part of a series of videos that I'm making to help you pass the Part 107 test. Each video represents a different chapter of the FAA study guide. Go ahead and check out the other videos that I've made. If I haven't made additional videos yet, it's because you haven't liked and subscribed. You'll also notice that in this video, there are times where I just said the wrong word. And so I went back and I did what's known as ADR. I went ahead and replaced my dialogue with the word that should have been said. So if it looks like there are times where it's like a poorly made movie, that's just me screwing up and correcting myself. And if you want additional content on weather, I'm going to link to it right around here. Let's get to the party. Why you came here? Surface aviation weather observation. It includes the type of report, the station identifier, the date and time, the modifier as required, wind, visibility, runway, visual range, in some cases, weather phenomena, sky conditions, temperature, dew point, altimeter reading, and applicable remarks. Wow. This is an example here of what it looks like. And I know what you're thinking. It looks like a string of random characters. Trust me, we're going to see if we can get you to the point where you can start decoding this in real time. I will tell you this. The reason why it's written like this is it goes all the way back to ticker tape and, and using Morse code where you could only use a certain amount of characters, so they tried to make it as few characters as possible. Here's an example. This is from KORD, which is O'Hare Airport's monitoring station. We're going to break it into the different sections. Station identifier. It's a four letter code. It's K plus three letters in the US. K O R D, in this case, O'Hare. Date and time of the report. The first two digits are the date 07, that is the date of the month. There are four digits of universal time 2351Z. This is in the 24 hour time format. By the way, if you're going to be flying regularly and you use these kind of reports, try to find out how many hours you are away from Zulu time just to make it easier for you. The date and the time of the report, that's what that is. Modifier. Modifier might not be there. It can be auto, which means it's an automated source. It can be a corrected report, C-O-R. A-01, which means no precipitation descriptor or A02, that means it includes a precipitation descriptor. Try saying precipitation descriptor five times fast, just for the heck of it. Wind, normally it's five digits. The first three is the true direction in tens of degrees. In this case, it's 260 degrees at five knots. 260, 05, that means five knots. True direction is with respect to true north, the geographical north pole. Not the magnetic north pole, but the geographical north pole. Visibility in statute miles. That's denoted by the SM, statute miles. Keep that in the back of your head. When it's a runway visual range, it's preceded by an R. So like R17L slash 1400 feet, and then uh, parentheses 10SM. That means at runway 17 left at 1400 feet, it's going to be a visibility of up to 10 statute miles. Weather, weather phenomenon. There's a whole chart of weather phenomenon that you're gonna see right here right now. A lot of it to me is kind of common sense, but take a look at it. Memorize as much of it as you can. I'm not gonna go through all the different descriptors right now because you're better off just taking a look at it and trying to get a feel for it. Once you get a feel for it, you'll kind of know what it means. Sky condition, sequence and base height. Few, 250. What do we do? We add two zeros to everything, right? So if it says few, 250, that means few clouds, 25,000 feet. The next section, you see where it says M06 slash M12? Guess what M means? M means minus. This is the temperature in Celsius, okay? Temperature in Celsius, then a slash and the dew point. Since the M means minus, in this case, it's minus 06 degrees, minus six degrees, minus 12 degrees dew point. 
altimeter setting. This is the air pressure reported in inches of mercury Hg preceded by an A. So if you have A3016, that equals 30.16. If the pressure is rising, then it's going to say P-R-E-S-R-R, -R, or falling, P-R-E-S-F-R. -E so falling with the F rising with the R. Pressure will be in the remark section. Zulu time can be there. In this case, it's not. Uh, remark, RMK. There's a whole chart for the remark section. I'm going to link it to you in the section below. It's important to know that because there are certain sections that denote time and those areas are important because there just might be a section on the test that'll say something like, what's the temperature supposed to be like six hours from now? We're going to get to that, okay? RMK, that means remark. AO2 means that there's a precipitation descriptor. Hard to say, precipitation descriptor coming. SLP, sea level pressure of 223. That's preceded by 10. It's 10, 22.3. 4 slash 003. This is the snow depth that is on the ground in inches. Three inches of snow on the ground. You see those first numbers in the remarks section? Those first numbers are kind of like what gives you a clue as to what information is coming next. In this case, the four, that gives you the snow depth in, on the ground in inches. Six, zero, 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 zero. These are inches of rain. Precipitation amount in 0.01 inches for the past six hours reported. T, 105.61117. This is the hourly temperature and the dew point. This gets super complicated. Uh, there's a one if the temperature is below zero degrees centigrade, and there is a zero if the temperature is zero degrees centigrade or higher. Pause. The T means that it's the hourly temperature and dew point. The one means that the temperature is below zero degrees centigrade. T1056 means negative 5.6 degrees centigrade. Why is my hair so short? Return. That second section there, 11.7 centigrade. You see the one preceding that number 117 there? That means it's a negative number. So this is negative 11.7 degrees centigrade for the dew point. Shake it off. Just shake it off. Keep going. Work through it. 11033. This is a six hour maximum temperature. 033. It's negative 3.3 degrees centigrade. 21. 056. This is a six hour minimum temperature. It's negative 5.6 degrees centigrade. 55000. This is the pressure trend. Look at the chart. That'll help explain some of it. Some of it you just have to do for yourself and then you'll start understanding it. Let's give you a completely different area. KTPA. KTPA. The date and the time of the report are the first two digits are the date, in this case 08. The time is 0753 Zulu. 0753 Zulu. There's no modifier. In this case, the wind is 02005 KT. That means the direction of the wind is 020 degrees. The speed is 5 knots. Visibility. 10 statute miles, SM, 10 statute miles. Sky condition, SCT 060, scattered at 060, 6,000 feet. BKN 075, what would you think that means? Broken, right? Broken. 075, 7,500 feet. Broken, BKN, 090, broken, 9,000 feet. Temperature and dew point, 1309, 
13 degrees centigrade, the dew point is 9. Altimeter setting. A, 3009. 30.09. Remarks, we have the RMK. Oh God, oh God, RMK. This is the nightmare, by the way, of trying to read METAR reports. Whenever you see RMK, you'll shake your head. The A02, precipitation descriptor, right? SLP 190, sea level pressure, 190. Put a 10 before that, 1019.0. T, 0128094, that's the temperature and the dew point. 12.8 degrees Celsius, 9.4 degrees Celsius. Let's do a completely different one. K, PHX, this is Phoenix, K, PHX. Date and time of the report, 08, the eighth day, 0751 Zulu. What is the wind speed? That is going to be in knots. 190 degrees at three knots. What is the visibility? 10 statute miles. What is the sky condition? It's clear. What's the temperature in the dew point? 10 slash M04. That's 10 degrees centigrade M minus four degrees Celsius. Altimeter setting, A3024, 30.24. Remarks, we got that nasty AO2, right? SLP 232, sea level pressure, 10, 23.2. Don't forget, sea level pressure, 10, 23.2. T, 01001044. Temperature, that's 10 degrees Celsius, and then it's going to be minus 4.4 degrees Celsius. Are we starting to get there? Oh my God, it's a pain in the ass, isn't it? Yeah, I know. I hated this, hated this. That's why I'm doing as much of it with you as humanly possible. KLAX, that's LA's airport, right? This is the weather station at LA's airport. Date and time of the report, 08. That means it's the eighth day. The time is 07.53 Zulu time. Wind, 360.04 KT. That is 360 degrees at four knots. Visibility, 10 statute miles. Sky condition, CLR. What do you think that is? Clear. Temperature and dew point, 17 slash M03. We know 17 is 70 degrees Celsius. What does the M mean? Minus, it's minus three degrees Celsius. Altimeter setting. Don't forget, whenever it's the A, it's just that number. It's just that number with the little decimal point in there. Remarks. Remarks. A02. Precipitation descriptor. SLP229, sea level pressure of 1022.9. T01671033. That's the temperature. 16.7 degrees Celsius. Dew point is negative 3.3 degrees Celsius. 402560083. This is the 24 hour maximum and minimum. The maximum temperature has been 25.6 degrees Celsius. The minimum is 8.3 degrees Celsius. I know you're getting tired of this. Let's just do one more, okay? KSAT. This is San Antonio, by the way. Date and time of the report. This is the 11th day, 0551 Zulu. Time is 551 Zulu. <laughs> Wind in knots, 06 knots. What's the direction? 180 degrees. Visibility, 10 SM, 10 statute miles. Sky condition, FEW few, 25 thousand feet. Add the two zeros. 25,000 feet. AGL. Temperature and dew point. 13 slash 03. 13 degrees Celsius. 3 degrees Celsius dew point. 
altimeter setting. Whenever you see the A, all you have to do is put that decimal point in there, 30.06 inches. Remarks. Dear God, no. Remarks. A02, it's an automated station that has precipitation information. Sea level pressure, put the 10 first, it's 10. Well, it's actually 1016.5. Temperature, the T0128033, 12.8 Celsius, dew point 3.3 Celsius. Ah, <sighs> 10194, the maximum temperature in the past six hours has been 19.4 degrees Celsius. 201117, the minimum temperature in the past six hours has been 11.7 degrees Celsius. 24 hour maximum minimum temperature. That's what that long string is, the 402220039. That means the maximum temperature is 22.2 degrees Celsius. Minimum temperature is 3.9 degrees Celsius. 58002, that is the pressure trend or the change. Pressure trend of 0.2. Pressure can be steady or increasing, then decreasing, or decreasing, then decreasing more rapidly. What are you noticing? You're noticing that the additional remarks can be tricky. Learn that first part, and then when it gets to the remarks, in the remarks, learn the 24-hour codes and the 6-hour codes. These will help you immensely. I hope you're able to get some of this in your head better than I was. It took me a while of just like staring at the charts, staring at the information, just downloading a bunch of METAR data, and then getting to the point where it became automatic to me. Having said that, there's something very cool about seeing that string of information that only an aviator can understand or want to understand, and you're one of the few that can do it. Go ahead, learn it, and that part of the test is going to be so much more easy for you. As always, pilot in command, fly safe. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. I always forget that.